Well, I welcome you back and thank you for joining us again. And what we're going to cover today is we're going to give a quick overview of what we did with all the components. So here we did the basic embroidery, the bead embroidery with the couching. From that, we went up to and added a couple rows of peyote stitch. And then we finished it off with doing a size 15 to really bezel the piece up. This one here, we did basic bead embroidery around, adding the cup chain, and also another row of bead embroidery with size 11s. From there, we went to the pinwheel, adding the tilas, and then we also uh, covered doing the caterpillar stitch, where we stitched down the cup chain, the um, size four millimeter crystals, and then coming up over the top. So my goal is to teach you how easy this is, to put all these components together that you've learned and do all these different stitches and create something. So let's get started. So I've taken all these stitches that I've taught you, the bead embroidery, the cup chain, the caterpillar, the tilas, more cup chain. So what I wanna show you is you just need to cut away. This was on a, a bigger piece of stiff stuff and I cut most of it away, but I wanna finish cutting all this away. And remember to cut at an angle to get as close as you possibly can. Now if there's a little bit of stiff stuff showing on this, it's not gonna matter, and you'll see that when we go to making a collar, and you'll see how you're gonna sew that on. Okay, so now I've cut away all the beading foundation, and you can see where I did the pinwheel and the caterpillar, and I also just added a few other little tinier cabs and just did more bead embroidery around it, and that just gives it more interest and more texture looking. So in this project here, you can see where there's a little bit of a foundation here. And this is where we're gonna add some flowers and different texture to it. So you won't see any of this white. So I've tied on a new thread and I'm gonna come up here where I see a little bit of the white stuff, right not inside the white stuff, but right close to it. And then I'm gonna choose the flower that I'm gonna put in there. And that looks like it's a perfect fit. So we already covered this too, but I want to show it to you again. So we're going to add a, the flower, a little stopper bead, and then we're going to go back down through that. And a lot of times you cover up the bead work that you've done already, but that's what is so cool because it gives it a layered look too. So remember we went through these little flowers three or four times just to stabilize it. And I'm gonna go through one more time. And if you have a hard time finding where to go up through your flower, remember if you flip your work over and see where you came up, or excuse me, came down, and then go back up through it, you get pretty darn close. It's kind of a nice little trick to know. Okay. And that's nice and secure. So now I need to find another place to put a flower and I am gonna come over in this area. The thing about bead embroidery too, you don't wanna jump really far. If, you do, if you're gonna jump clear over there, you kinda of wanna weave yourself a little bit. Um, this is a little bit far to jump. And the reason I say that is because it'll make your work kind of curl up. If you do do this, it's, it's not gonna come and done because we're gonna put glue on the back of it and that'll stabilize all of it as well. So I'm gonna come over in this area here. And another trick too, is I've moved over to this area. If I go back down through my beading foundation and then back up, it's kind of like tying a little knot. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this flower. And I like that. And I'm gonna add my little stopper bead and go back down through it. And again, stabilize it by going through it two or three times. Okay, there's two times. So then I kind of lay it down. I never know what direction I'm, I'm heading or where I'm going with it. I just kind of let the beads talk to me and tell, tell me where they want to go and it's just all about listening. So I'm going to go down through my stiff stuff just to stabilize it and then back up. So what do you think? Let's do, let's do that right there. I think that looks good. 
think the biggest thing is not to overthink it. Just, just go for it. Okay, again, I'm going to look on the back, see where my hole is. Okay, there we go. Come on, go back up through there. There you go. All right, what do I want to do next? I think in this area right here, since I'm down in this area, we're going to do a couple of the little um, spiny fringes. So I'm going to go up and back down just to stabilize it. And then come up. And I'm going to add on five seed beads, a crystal and a stopper. Leaving your stopper behind, go through your crystal and your five seed beads. And let's do a couple of those. This one I'm going to do seven. So it gives you different lengths for it. Sometimes it helps to lay down your work. So it's a little easier to get through there. Especially for you to see what I'm doing. And let's do one more. See how I'm kind of going underneath that flower there? Give it a nice little tug so it tightens it. And this one, let's do six. It doesn't have to be odd numbers for this. You can put as many beads as you want on there. Okay, and I like that. A little tug. All right, now I'm going to just jump down, but I'm going to be going up and down here and there. And this is a good time to, if you find something that needs to be couched down a little bit more, just go ahead and couch it down. What my goal is is to move down in this area to put on another flower. So instead of jumping on the back, I'm just going to go up and down like this instead of weaving it. Okay, I'm going to put a flower right here. And I like to have things that hang over as well. So see, this is going to kind of hang over in this area right here. So let's go ahead and add that. My stopper bead. See how that kind of just hangs over like that? I like that look a lot. It just gives it more texture and more interest. Let me go back up through it. And let's move down this way a little bit. See, I'm just kind of couching every now and then over the beads that I already have. And I think we'll put one right in this area here. This one I'm putting a little white stopper on there. Switch it up. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, go through that little tiny bead there. Go on in, there you go. Okay, see how nice that looks just by adding those flowers to it? We've taken all these different little components, samples, and just did a bigger piece, and ta-da! You guys are awesome and doing a great job. Let's get started on the next one. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 